the adorable Nimbus to get the blah blah, you know the drill. And have you noticed that the save icon here kind of looks like an eyeball? You know, you got the outside, you got the inside, looks like the iris, and it's like, oh, you're saving your data. It's, it's, you know, like your mind. Your eyes are seeing it, and you're saving it in your brain. Isn't that fun? You know, same. Eye, eye in, eye out. I don't know. Chinese checkers is a fun game to play. I don't know why I said that. I have never played the game. I'm insane. This whole thing is making me lose my mind. Okay, let's go sort this shiznick out, shall we? Coco, so where were you this whole time that we were doing things, okay? Like, actually, where were you, my girl? Coco and... I mean... Okay. You, man, I have had the worst day. Oh, really, you've had the worst day, my god. Hero, come on, bro. Where were you this whole time, Coco? Right. You found Hero. I found Hero. You found Hero? He was jammed into the pool room locker. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! I can't believe you kicked me. You could have been, like, a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kiriko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. It was kind of weird. Well, there was something I had to check up on. Really? There was something you had to check up on? What do you mean? Never mind. Coco, I don't like that you're not telling me nothing. It's going to make me think that maybe you're the traitor because, I mean, Monokuma was talking to someone before and was all like, you were supposed to be the first one. So it's like, are you working with Monokuma? I don't know. I can't. Never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Hey. More You go missing during an investigation and you're just like, don't think about it, Makoto. How can I not? More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people think she might be spying for the masterminds? No, because she's stupid like everyone else here. And? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know how that happened. Then I woke up and then I was here. Yep, that tracks. Hmm. <laughs> I don't care. Do something about that costume. It pains me just to look at you. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I have to agree. This one time, it's kind of not great, my guy. Let me out of here! I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help. <laughs> Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong! I didn't make the stupid friggin' thing. It would seem... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. See, doesn't this make it sus as well? They've essentially made an outfit that can only be taken off from the outside. So, like, how could he put it on himself as well? Like, like this is so obvious that he didn't do it and they're framing him. It took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get here out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got it all off. <laughs> yeah, buddy, y'all need to be a bit more less chill about what's happening right now. Phew! Free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits, Hero? So then... More to the point, nobody but Hero would be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. <laughs> That's true, I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too, but Yakuya's not an idiot, and I'm only half an idiot, so... You know, I'm sure both he and I figured that the writings were different. Could it be...? Then it's obvious, the one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone... That's terrible! ...was Hero. <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst! Good idea, we wouldn't want him killing anyone else. What? What? Dude, what even? We didn't do what? Tie me up? 
And I was just like, whoa, guys, come on now, hold up. Let's let's think about this for a second. What? I know he's stupid, but like, he's too stupid. I mean, he's not so stupid as to make it obvious he did it, but he's too stupid to be pretending that he's not done it. I just, the point is he's stupid. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, um... attacking blueprints? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please. Whoa, killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about. There must be a fake hero running around. What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume. So who else could possibly be the costume attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on yourself before you convict me. Okay. Oh, fine. If you're going to be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a beat, Hina started putting on the Robo Shuster's costume. Huh. Oh. <laughs> See, look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. Got a point. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm? Yeah, what? I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I, I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. <laughs> in a half, Hina took the suit back off. I okay, cool. Well, we've established that Hina is not wearing it. <sighs> Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... No, see, it's because you're a girl. If, if it was another guy, have you seen Makoto? He's the same. He's shorter than Hina. So there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> I'm smaller than Hina. Hina's twice my size. Okay, maybe not that tall, but like Makoto is shorter than Hina. If it didn't fit Hina, it's not fitting Makoto. You're taller than Makoto. You're like six foot, aren't you? Or close to it. You fucking put it on. <laughs> no, Makoto, don't agree. Oh my god. Ryokia's <laughs> like, hey, Makoto, go do something. And he's like, okay, sure. My god. Against my will, against your will, you just agreed. He just told you to do something and you just went and did it. Oh my god. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them to get to there. Putting them on. It's no good, the arms are too long, there's no way I can wear this. Just a second! See, I told you, it was impossible. <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body, exactly. But... Then there's another costume. They must have one that looks the same, but it but fits them? Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us the evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> You claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> well, I mean, that's fair. I mean, if she's like, look, you said there's another suit, go bring it to us. Just the worst. Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible. Well, not true. Kyoko's kind of been MIA too, I'm just saying. Which is how we know it was him. What? what? I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? I mean, yeah, sure, buddy. Sure. <laughs> Dude, I'm the smallest guy here. You should have put it on me up here. You're almost his height too. If you put it on, it probably would have fit a whole lot better. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Get it, Kodo, who's the shortest one here now that hero has gone. <laughs> it's looking more and more like it really was a setup. Well, that's great that both you and I agree, even though I don't like you. Select! Oh! I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoko to turn up at the same time. Hmm. But where has Kyoko been hiding all this time? I have no idea. Then perhaps... perhaps she really is working for the Mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behaviour? But... <laughs> you are quite protective of her, yes? That's because she helped me out so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that is exactly what I would do to earn your trust. She ain't wrong, Makoto. I mean, do you remember Sakuya and like Osayaka, sorry, and she was all like, 
hey, let's like totally help each other out. But she was like going to frame you for like killing Leon and stuff. So like, I'm just saying, you've got a track record, my guy, of like chicks trying to like get your trust and then like throw you under the bus. And she looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk. I'd better leave her alone. Tina, she's so cute. What the heck? There's no talking your way out of this one. You did it. Everyone knows it. Totally for real. Okay, hero, let me like lay down what what's heck? happened. Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I've figured out that someone's been killed, right? Oh yeah, that's, yep. Hey, Makoto, who was it? Oh, well. Well, two people were killed, Tucker and Hifumi. What? What? Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it. Please. I did not. Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two are the ones that were killed. How about that? That's it. I know who did it. So then. You may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? Yeah, I guess. I'm at least 30% right. Which means Alter Ego and or Chihiro must have done it. My guy, Chihiro is dead. And Alter Ego is a AI in a computer that was stolen. And we don't know where he is or she is or it is. I don't know, but no. By the gods. Correct. <sighs> I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Huh? Unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um, I'm telling you guys, you got it all wrong. Oh, I, I know. So then. That note. Note? Uh, um. Well, last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape? Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room. Then, for some reason, I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. <laughs> Not a chance. So... No. Hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? What? what really? <laughs> I told you someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, I mean, no one's, <sighs> um, no one's saying he's not stupid, but like, we're saying he probably didn't do the murders. <laughs> well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still got to check, right? <laughs> Okay, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. Ugh. I still don't buy it. Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my, um, pocket. Well, of course no they take it away so that they couldn't prove that you were telling the truth and make you look stupid. Oh my God, this is so tricky. Like, I legit have no idea what the hell's going on. <sighs> yeah, sure. Please! <laughs> you gotta believe me, I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh -huh. <sighs> what the heck? For serious? For real? For real? Yeah, bro. For real, for real. <laughs> now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. What the heck? Why, why did you kill them? Tell us, hero. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's like I said. Just the worst. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why. Please! <laughs> that's a false accusation. Someone help me. What are you saying? Just be thankful we haven't found and gagged you. Hmm. <laughs> if you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for your evidence, right? What? What? Uh, you're right. I need to look for the second suit and that note. 
complete third fail me now. Okay, bye. I guess I'd better get back to guard duty. I was gonna ask Tok uh Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Well, bye. Could you imagine a fight against Toko and Sakura? My god, I'd pay to see that. One by one, everyone peeled away. Makoto. Do you have a second? Well, okay, honey, sure. I have nothing but seconds. I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up for some ground. Well, where did you go, my chick? Like, where did you go? You were MIA and you're not telling us where you've been. What happened, Kyoko? Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? <laughs> Straight up, no. <laughs> okay then, so what? what's this? You want me to do shit for you, but you're not going to do anything for me? That's not how this works, Kyoko. To reject me so simply. Anyway. I need your help. You don't mind, do you? So, so, you need my help, but when I'm like, look, you have to be honest with me. Like, if you keep hiding stuff, how am I supposed to trust you? And you're just like, yeah, nah, bruh. Shut up and, like, just help me, cause. Like, that's not how this works, Kyoko. But Makoto's an idiot and just agrees to anything anyone says. So, doesn't matter what shall I think. Go? It just, he's just so stupid. Thanks. Now then, shall we go and do stuff? Hey. Sure, why not? It's like when Myakuya was like, hey, come help me. And then Makoto's like, yeah, okay, I guess. Like, dude, you've got no balls. So, Makoto, first, I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. Well, no, but apparently you do. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, I have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, guess you're right. Okay, then show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository, and I guess we should head that way. Let's go. Let's go to the repository. Let me help you with your shit while you don't tell me anything at all, because God forbid anyone, like, actually be truthful and, like, help. Why is everything glitching out? Mother of God. Pop in is so bad. I can't even like. Is it actually like I got like camera in Hero's room? Like lol. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a game designer. Wait, she's by the mother. You know what? We're teleporting because I am lazy. Where are we going? To the repository. Keko, darling, we're going to the repository. Why? I forget. Where am I? Oh, we're going to look at the bodies. Is this the right way? I, I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's the art room. I know where I am. I don't know. I get lost on the third floor. All right, let's go. It's like a maze. A big old maze. We're like mice in a maze. I'm so lost all the time. All right, let's go. Quick clack goes the lock on the repository door. Hifumian. Haka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to go rigid, but only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Tucker and without hesitation began poking and prodding at the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth, she was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. I don't think you should be. She was all like, oh my god, dead bodies. I totally get this. And then Makoto's like, oh my god, you're so like cool and calm around these dead bodies. It's such a turn on. I see. Makoto, I found something. You did? So quickly? Hey. You remember the wristwatch Tucker always wore on his left hand? No, I do not remember that. <laughs> Neither did Makoto. He's like, he did. I was not paying attention. Whew. Are you so obli uh, oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? Okay, Kyoko, first of all, how dare you attack my character when you go MIA and don't tell anyone what the hell's going on? Like, don't you? You have no say in Makoto's character right now, okay? He's probably the only honest motherfucker here. No, that's not it. Anyways, so you said he had a watch? So then. Take a look. Oh, look, it's cracked. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. 
if you notice, the hands have frozen at just past six o'clock. So that means the watch was broken sometime just after six? That's right. But last night, Tucker's watch definitely wasn't broken. Dude, I cannot see a fucking watch on him. So, like, shut up, honestly. With you going, what, you didn't notice a watch he was wearing? I didn't see a watch on him. <sighs> it's just, honestly. Tucker's getting all grr, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Tucker's irritated voice pierced the air as he started pointedly at his wristwatch. Oh, come on. It just said that he stared at it, but you can't see it on his picture. So how am I supposed to actually pay attention? Oh, God damn it. In other words. So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Then is it 6 a.m. that it broke? Yeah, meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning, right? Duh, if it didn't happen last night, it happened this morning. Blah, blah, blah. That's how time works. However. And that's not all. Look at Tucker's left hand. Oh, look, he's got a scrap piece of paper in his left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right, there's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try and pry it? Why do I have to? You you saw it, you do it. Find us keepers. Me? Because... Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labour, right? Oh, come on, don't use that with me. Don't be like, oh, men are stronger, so you, like open up his hand like Makoto is literally the smallest person in this whole place it doesn't matter that he's a guy he's 100% weaker than all the girls here like he's tiny he's like tiny tiny small person okay like you're definitely stronger than Makoto is you're just like I don't want to touch the dead body Makoto boys are so much stronger you do it like fucking equality my ass Makoto is the weakest person here <laughs> okay as much as I didn't want to, I grasp Tucker's cold hand because whenever anyone says jump, I say how high. Because Makoto's a little bitch. That's why I need water. Water be good. Make sure you hydrate, ladies and gentlemen. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. A piece of paper. Hey. Was that all he had inside his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does Is it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Hiko then turned to Hifumi's body. So then. Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us a few clues on his own. Yay, I got a scrap piece of paper. Is there anything on the scrap piece of paper? Uh, it's a repository. Uh, Celestas here, Robo Justice broken. It took us a thought, scrap piece of paper. Yeah, Kiyotaka's lifeless hand was found clutching a small scrap of paper. So there's nothing on the paper. Awesome. Well, that was helpful, wasn't it? Alright, let's do this. The biggest problem I have right now is how the killer was able to move Hifumi's massive corpse. Yeah, it's pretty weird and blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I activated the thing again. Oh my god, I did it again. Okay, Kyoko. Next. Just gonna Kyoko kitty giddy. So, did you find anything? Indeed. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper. That's right. Hifumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He'd stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see. You, you went looking around in his pants? Kyoko, my girl. My girl. Kyoko, what the shit? Like, I get it, investigating and all that jazz, but like, y'all could I really stick your hand down his pants? Wait, so you... Why is that? It was just his pants. Not like his socks or something. I, 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 hold on, I, yeah, I, I, mm. I'm sorry. Oh, I just stuck my hands down his pants. It's not like I took his socks off. Oh my God. Is it less weird because his socks were on? Oh, Jesus Christ, Kyoko. I don't know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. Why do I have to do anything? When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like, what the shit? It better be important, Hifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. 
Oh look, it's a torn up note. I found a hole. Maybe we can use to escape Monokuma. That's the note that that hero was talking about. And it's ripped, which means Tucker ripped it. They must have had a bit of a fight or something. And then it got ripped. But who wrote the note? Was it Tucker or was it Hifumi? Oh, I don't know. A note? I found a hole. Maybe we can escape. Blah, 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 blah. So that sounds familiar. Very familiar. That's it. It's the same thing Hero said. Then he was telling us the However, truth. Although it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um, uh, last night someone slipped a weird note under my door and here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else. For now, let's meet in the rec room at 1am. The time is different? Well, to be fair, he was knocked out and he's an idiot. So maybe he misread or misremembered the note. Hiro told us that his note said to meet at 1am. But that note they wrote to Fumi asked him to meet at 6am. Is that right? Hold on, just because Ifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to part of it being ripped. Um, could you maybe explain a little more? Sort of being so cryptic. Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been clutching that scrap piece of paper so tightly? I have no idea. So then? What if it wasn't just a scrap piece of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Why do I need to answer it? Why can't someone else do this? Why can't anyone else be more useful? Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? You didn't have to think about them at all. I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role. Okay, sweetie, sure. Okay, sure. I don't think I understand, but whatever. If Kyoko thinks it's important, I better be the good little boy that I am and listen to my masters. By the gods, Makoto, Jesus Christ. All right, time to do trials. This is going to take 100,000 years. I hope y'all are ready. Because I'm not. I'm not ready for this, Jelly. Are you excited? No. Are you pumped? No. It's time for the class trial to begin! Oh my like God. the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Okay. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! I, I don't wanna. It would seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. Yay! You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Why? Why me, Coco? If you seem to know everything, why don't you do it? Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. Sure! I just am tired of being the one that has to do everything around here. Like, actually, the real everything. I have to do everything around here. Oh, it's getting so small. Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation and they were gathered by the red door. And as soon as we were all there... Monokuma appears! Why are there two? He's multiplied. Wrong. <laughs> nope. Multiplication, it just looks that way because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast, it only looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> Can't you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? No, you both look the same. Whew. 
Can we just get on the elevator already? Boy, tough crowd. Yeah, playing along. Along, along. Stop talking. We're not here to play with you. Okay. Okay, okay. Fine. Hey! Hey! Well, if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train. Uh, elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Okay then, shall we? <laughs> Please! Oh, I'm not mentally prepared yet. What Neither am I. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I told you already I didn't do it for serious. Uh, hmm. That reminds me. Did you ever find the other costume or the note? <sighs> um, well, no, but <laughs> how unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. <laughs> well, hey, this isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when we get to the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Sure. Great idea. Let's roll. That's right. I have to figure it all out because everyone else is fucking useless. I can't let whoever killed Hifumi and Tucker get away with it. For someone who's still alive, and for the two that lost their lives, I'm gonna figure it out because I'm the protagonist of this story. The only one who killed Ifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is. Someone right here. I have no idea, but I don't think it was Hero, and I don't think it was Ta Taco. Taco Tuesday. I don't think it was. Yakuya, so um, it might be Sakura. I don't know. It could be. It could be. I don't know. But that's something else for me to deal with at a later date because right now I want to. I want to run. I don't want to do it because I don't want to. So I'm going to just stay right here and like these gosh darn things take a hundred years to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it and I'll see you then. Bye.